Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for coming to my page to find out more about me and why I'm running for the Berkeley School Board. I do appreciate your time, and I hope that over the next couple of minutes, I can give you the information that you need to make an informed decision and that I will have your support this November 2020. So I've been a parent in the Berkeley schools at every level, from preschool, elementary, middle school and high school, and I still have one daughter left in the fourth grade at Rosa Parks Elementary School. In each capacity as a parent volunteer, I've worked diligently to meet the needs of our various school communities. As I've led parenting workshops and been a part of the various oversight committee meetings, people have always said to me, you know, you should probably run for the school board. You would be really great at that. And I realize that that's because as teachers, parents, and students voice their concerns, I worked diligently to address them. When I learned of the achievement gap, I was as devastated and alarmed as so many of our community members are. As a leader of various organizations within BUSD, we rolled up our sleeves and got to work. We reshaped the district's plan by, with our collaborative efforts. We reshaped the district's overall educational plan with three main goals. One, high quality instruction and enrichment. Goal two, culturally and linguistically responsive systems. And three, welcoming and inclusive school climate. Within each of these goals, we implemented research-based programming such as restorative justice, direct English language learner support, social emotional counselors, additional extended day and summer learning opportunities, family engagement specialists at every elementary school, teachers of color recruitment and retention, and a clear focus on welcoming and inclusive school community. But none of that was easy. It took doing the research, making the right partnerships, and developing the political will within our school district to approve and implement these initiatives. Then, once we got it, what was next? Oversight. I remain committed to the oversight process because I do want to see the opportunity gap for the black and brown students closed. The beauty of the work we've done to re improve the results for those students, it's meant that the quality of education has improved for all students. So one reason why I'm running is because with two open board of director seats and our changing district level leadership, I deeply understand where the district has been and needs to go to continue this effort. And our kids, they can't wait. The second reason that I've decided to run is because of the financial challenges that COVID-19 is bringing the USD. Not only have I been through two seasons of budget cuts within Berkeley Unified, but in the private sector, I've provided financial and operational leadership through two major recessions our economy has faced, from the dot-com bust to the housing crisis. And each time I've worked diligently and effectively to reduce costs by listening deeply, asking hard questions, and relying on data to make informed decisions. Again, once I saw the needs of our community, I thought about it, and I couldn't just sit by and not answer the call to serve. Now is the time in which we need another leader within BUSD that will offer strong fiscal management, ensure that we streamline our administrative processes, and address our financial challenges in a new way, from special education reform to automated back office procedures that will allow real-time reporting for our various budget managers. I realize that as I've been working passionately to improve our schools, that my professional career as a controller of global operations has also been preparing me to serve for this exact moment. So thank you for considering me as your NEC representative and please fact check me. Check me out there at our links to Laura in the news, watch the school board meetings in which I and my children have advocated for equity and results and enjoy some of the fun things that we have done as well from the BOSD Oratorical Fest, to banquets to celebrate and fundraise, and reunion events to stay connected. And like so many of our social media stars say, let me know what you think. I'll check you out in the comments.